There's so much great stuff that you can buy these days off the shelf that looks really good in your home. That's right, but what if you want something unique, something you won't find anywhere else? You make it. You do, that's what this man's there for. <laughs> We're going to make an indoor plant stand because indoor plants are all the rage right now, but I've got something for you, Ads. What is this monstrosity? That's actually close. It's called a monstera. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, I thought you could use the leaf somehow. Yeah, beautiful. I'll use it as my inspiration. All right, well, you do that. I'll go do the plants. Leave it with me. I'll catch you. Basically, the first thing I need to do is start tracing it out. Live to rise against our lives. make this plant stand, I'm using some 30mm ply and we'll get the whole lot out of one sheet, which you can pick up for around $70. The idea is to make different size leaves. Now, this one's marked out. I'll use the jigsaw to cut it out. I think Melissa will be happy with that. Looks exactly the same. <laughs> I've picked up these Grige terracotta pots for Adam's plant stand. So Grige is a kind of combination between grey and beige. And they look good in their own right, but I want to add some personality to these pots. So I'm going to give them a mini makeover with a splash of paint. I'm going to wipe them down and then we'll tape them up. So I've gone for some great colours here. I've got a bright copper rose, pink splendour and a bit of satin black in there. But I also want this natural grige colour to shine through so I get a little bit of the original character of the pot. With everything cut, now I'm going to laminate these three pieces of ply together to make the post for our plant stand. To do that, I'll be using some glue and screwing it together. To get an even coverage with my glue, I've just put a little bit of water on this paintbrush and I'm making sure that I get all the way to the edges. Now I want to get rid of all these sharp edges, so I'll be going over everything with a router and it's got a 10mm round over bit in it. Then I want to extend my curve, so I'll be using a sander as well. Do you like my sophisticated painting booth? So I'm just using an old cardboard box just to make sure that the spray doesn't get on me or anywhere else that it shouldn't. Now, when you're using a spray paint, you want to make sure you give it a really good shake, like I'm talking at least three minutes before you start spray painting. Never get these lips off. There you go, we got it. Because you don't want a blotchy finish. Now, when you're applying that second colour, just make sure you use something like a piece of cardboard as a bit of a barrier so that you don't mess up that first colour. All right, so now for the final reveal. And generally, you would want to remove the tape while the paint is still wet so you get a nice crisp line and you don't remove any paint. But you'll find that the spray paint is incredibly forgiving. All right, now take a look at this. It's come up beautifully. Put our plant stand together, it's a matter of gluing and screwing. So I started with the big leaf at the base and I screwed through underneath to attach our post. Then I put these little mounting blocks on the smaller leaves to hold them to the posts. And then because our pot plants, they're going to be sitting up here, there's going to be a bit of weight and you can see the movement. So I've just added these blocks in for extra support. And to finish off this plant stand, I'm just going over everything with a decking stain. And the name, you're going to love it, it's Dense Forest. Can't get more plant-based than that, can you? And the 
paint's dry and you might be looking at it thinking that's a bit patchy, well, I'm making it even more patchy with this sander because I want to break it up a little bit and bring through that blonde timber again. Finished, I'll go over it with some clear polyurethane. I've got a really nice selection of indoor plants here. So you can spot some old favourites in there. I've got some ficus and calatheas, a parlor palm over there. This little peperomia. This is one of the variegated forms, so you can see it comes in almost candy-like colours. And who could resist this anthurium? Flowers are really waxy, so they literally last for months, and it brings a beautiful tropical feel to the house. Have you noticed that these days there's a lot of indoor plants that have beautiful pink colours running through the foliage? Well, I'm going to take advantage of that because these will fit perfectly with our pink and copper toned pots. Hey, look at this. Ah, oh, that looks great. You really did use the Monstera leaf for inspiration. Yeah, I studied it. It looks good, it really looks good. What do you think of my pots? Yeah, they're beautiful. Look at this, it's going to work fantastic. Yeah, they came out well. Mm. And now it's time for the old switcheroo. So we're going to make a plant hanger, but this time I'm going to be on the tools and Ads is going to be adding the green. So here goes nothing, right? Yeah, beauty. What could possibly go wrong? All right, show me what to do. All right, so we've got this dress pine here and it's all marked up. Is we're making these little hooks. Well, you're going to be making these I'm little making hooks. I'm making them, yep. I'm going to be looking after the planting. <laughs> so that fits in here, yeah? Yeah, so it would just hook on the side. So you can see that's why we're just taking this splay off here and that way that will allow our pot to sit square once it's hanging. Makes sense. So easy. So Let's what tool it. are we going to use to cut it out, Melissa? Drill and jigsaw. Yes, we are. Ones yes. On the table. That's a good start. <laughs> You're all over it. All right. It's nice and solid. Awesome. Let's do it. All right. So basically, you just need to drill a hole in this corner and that corner. Nice one. Beautiful. Love it. All right. All right, Mel, so have you used a jigsaw before? I haven't. I'm keen. Fantastic. All right. All right, first of all, we'll put on some PPE. Let's get the eyes on. I'll put PPE. the eyes on the back here. That's it. Personal protective stuff. All right. That's right. <laughs> Is that what? Personal protective stuff. <laughs> I love it. So, base plate always sits flat on the timber. And see, because you've made these holes already, put one hand here, the trigger's under there, the other hand up here, watch the blade and follow the line. All right, let's All right? do it. You don't have to push hard either, Mel, because these blades, they're really thin and they bend easily, so just so let the tool do the work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I'm f***ed at this. Don't yeah. put that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> hey, calm down. You're gonna, you're gonna take my job. You're gonna take over my job, Mel. Not only are you gonna be doing the game. Time soon, I tell you. <laughs> You're doing a ripper of a job. <laughs> you beauty, Melissa King. <laughs> I shall take my bow. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Well done. I could get used to this. This is getting better and better. I think, right. I'm, I think I'm out of a job. Let's see how it works. You nervous? A little. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Melissa. Hey? Yep, that'll take a bit of weight. That's good. How yeah, good are you? Fantastic. So the last thing to do is to seal the timber up. All right, what let's do it. Get some clear on there. Look at that. All right, let this dry. Yeah. And it's time for the plants. Oh, no. This is where I start being nervous, yeah? This is where you get your hands dirty. Because <laughs> it's the time to fight and not the time to fall. Oh, look at this. Some colour. Now you're on my turf. <laughs> oh. All right, get ready. All right. I thought because the plants are hanging up high, mm -hmm. 
it's pretty tough. They get a lot of sun and wind tend to dry out quickly. So we're going for really tough stuff. Yep. So I've got this at home in my garden. This is Carex Feather Falls. Yep. Really tough as old roots, grows in full sun or shade. So you can Love get it. started planting that one up, Ads. The carrots. Yeah. Now what we're going to do, it's just in the bottom of the pot. So I'm just putting these pot filters in. So you just snugly put them in the bottom. Yep. And what they do is they stop any soil falling out the hole in the bottom. Yeah, and they cool. also prevent dirty water from staining your deck or pavers or wherever you've got it. Okay, I've also got another Carex. This one is called Dusky Fountain. So I like to have that little contrasting colour going on. Yeah, you know, yeah, the browns, yeah. the greens, I'm loving it. Look really good. Yep. Bit of flowering colour. Yes. So I think it's also nice to have something, you know, something a bit um, taller. So this is one called Candy Kisses. Oh, I know this one. <laughs> I know this one. This one's called Silver Falls. Oh. And it is a beautiful plant. Is it a plant? All right, who told him that? <laughs> no, no, this is all I know. This is all I know. And it just, again, cascades down and he's really going to just bring that beautiful colour to our pot plants. Is that correct? Is that how you explain it? That is one? beautifully done. I'm getting this. Beautifully I'm getting done. it. All right, yeah, chop, chop, get <laughs> planting. All right. Hey, you're meant to be doing this. Oh, sorry, yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. You don't need to touch it. Yeah, we need to get a bit of potting mix out of there. Yeah. Oh, Melissa, this is dried up beautifully. Look at that. Look what you created. Oh, I'm huh? proud of myself. <laughs> That's it. You did very well. So let's see if it works. I'll hold it. You slip the uh, pots in. All right, in. let's get the pots in the side. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah. She's lucky I've been working out. <laughs> lucky last. All right, let's get it in there. That looks great. That's fantastic. I'm not going to lie, it weighs a bit, but uh, <laughs> it looks very nice. But one thing I did learn, I think I better stick to carpentry. <laughs> and I better stick to the plants. <laughs> <laughs>